Frogs and Toads, a Bobby Kalman book. Crab Apples, Frogs and Toads, Bobby Kalman and Tammy Everts, Crabtree Publishing Company, www.crabtreebooks.com. Crab Apples, created by Bobby Kalman for Natalie and Bill. Table of Contents. What is in this book? In and Out of Water, page 4. What is a frog? Page 7. What is a toad? Page 8. Frog and Toad Homes, page 10. Yummy Frog Food, page 12. The Cycle of Life, page 14. Ribbit, Ribbit, page 16. Big Bulging Eyes, page 18. Eardrums, page 20. Winter Sleep, page 22. Safe Colors, page 25. Deadly Colors, page 26. Weird Frogs, page 28. No More Golden Toads, page 30. Words to Know and Index, page 31. What is in the picture, page 32. In and Out of Water. Frogs and toads belong to a group of animals called amphibians. An amphibian is an animal that can live on land and in water. Most amphibians spend the first part of their lives swimming like fish. As adults, they can move about on land, so they spend less time in the water. Adult amphibians breathe with lungs. They also breathe through their skin. Amphibians are cold-blooded. Their body temperature does not always stay the same as ours does. They are as warm or cold as the air around them. What is a frog? Frogs and toads look similar, but they are different in some ways. A frog has smooth, moist skin. It needs to live close to water. If a frog's skin dries out, the frog will die. Frogs have small teeth on their upper jaw. They do not use their teeth for biting or chewing. They use them for holding prey. Toads do not have teeth. The long, powerful back legs of frogs allow them to take huge leaps. A frog's back leg has four joints. There is one at the hip, one at the knee, and two at the ankle. Some tree frogs leap great distances from tree to tree. Sticky discs on the ends of their toes help them land on branches and leaves. The webbed feet of this flying frog help it soar through the air. What is a toad? Toads have dry, rough skin. Some toads have lumps on their skin. These lumps are called tubercles or warts. People once believed that touching a toad would give them warts, but now we know this is not true. A toad's poisonous skin, however, can make animals sick. Toads can be found far from water. A toad travels by walking, taking short hops, or running on its four legs. Its legs are not as long or strong as a frog's. Here is a toad. Frog and toad homes. Frogs and toads live almost everywhere in the world, except where it is very cold. They stay in cool, shady places when they are hot. They sit in the sun when they are cold. Some frogs and toads live in holes in the ground. Some live in ponds and lakes. Some live inside flowers or rotting logs. Some even live high up in trees. Here are pictures of their various habitats. Yummy frog food. Frogs and toads eat worms, snails, and insects such as mosquitoes and dragonflies. They do not need to drink. They take in water through their skin. Many frogs and toads have a long, sticky tongue for catching food. 
The tongue is attached at the front of the mouth. It stays rolled up until it is needed. When an insect buzzes by, the tongue quickly shoots out, catches the insect, and pulls it into the mouth. Frogs and toads have great aim. The cycle of life. In the spring and summer, frogs and toads gather in large groups in ponds and streams. These large groups are called breeding choruses. They meet to mate and lay eggs. The eggs grow into adult frogs and toads. The changing and growing from egg to adult is called metamorphosis. These pictures show the metamorphosis of a frog. The male sings or croaks to attract a female. He sits on her back and spreads sperm on her eggs as she lays them. Females lay hundreds or thousands of eggs in the water. Frogs lay their eggs in clumps. Toads lay them in strings. The eggs are called spawn. One day, an adult frog hops out of the water and onto the land. An adult frog's skin does not grow as the frog grows. Instead, the old skin splits and peels off, leaving a brand new skin underneath. Then the frog or toad eats its old skin. See, after a few days, an egg turns into a tadpole. Tadpoles have long tails and breathe through flaps called gills. They cannot live out of the water. The tadpoles soon grow legs. They lose their gills and develop lungs for breathing out of water. Their tails get shorter and shorter until they disappear. Ribbit, ribbit. Have you ever heard the croaking of frogs and toads on a quiet summer night? Long ago, frogs and toads were the only animals that could make sounds. Now, male and female frogs use sounds to find a mate. Only the male croaks, only the males croak or sing. The females have quieter voices. Male frogs and toads sing without opening their mouths. They have a voice sac in their throat. The voice sac is made of stretchy skin that swells like a balloon. You can see that picture to the left. Inside the balloon of skin, air moves back and forth and echoes. As the air touches the vocal cords, it makes a croaking noise. Some frogs and toads make unusual sounds. The pig frog sounds like a grunting pig. The cricket frog sounds like a chirping cricket. Can you guess what sound this barking tree frog makes? Big bulging eyes. Some frogs and toads have beautiful eyes that come in brilliant colors. Some eyes look like gold or silver. Others look like jewels of red, blue, or green. A frog or toad's eyes are wide apart and they bulge from the top of the head. The frog or toad can see above, beside, ahead, and even behind itself to look for food or enemies. Frogs and toads see well at night. They are also good at seeing moving things. A fly can sit in front of a frog's nose and the frog will not notice it. But if the fly moves, the frog will eat it in a flash. Frogs and toads have an extra eyelid. They can see through this clear eyelid. It covers their eyes like a diver's mask when they are swimming. Eardrums. Look for the ears on this frog. Believe it or not, almost all frogs and toads have ears. Their ears are very different from the ears of other animals. Frog and toad ears are called tympanums. The tympanum is a thin layer of skin. 
It does not stick out from the head and there is no hole. Sound bounces off of the tympanum in the same way a drumstick hits a drum. The frog hears by feeling the bounce. Male frogs have larger tympanums than female frogs. Frogs have larger tympanums than toads. Winter sleep. Frogs and toads are cold-blooded. They can die of heat during hot weather. They can freeze to death in cold weather. In the winter, frogs and toads must find warm homes to stay alive. Frogs and toads sleep or hibernate through the winter. A frog dives down to the bottom of a pond and buries itself in mud. A toad buries itself in the earth or curls up inside a rotting log. In springtime, the rain softens the ground and warms up the pond. As the frog or toad feels the heat, it wakes up and comes out to enjoy the sunshine. Safe colors. Frogs and toads have many predators. A predator is an animal or bird that hunts and eats another animal. Frogs and toads try to avoid predators such as snakes, otters, and birds by not being seen. The colors of some frogs and toads allow them to blend into their surroundings. A frog's green skin is hidden or camouflaged in greenish pond water or among leaves and grass. When a toad sits on earth, twigs, or dead leaves, its bumpy brown skin is hard to see. Deadly colors. Brightly colored skin shows animals that some frogs and toads are poisonous. A bird might eat a colorful frog such as this poisonous dart and become very sick. That bird would learn never to eat a poison dart frog again. The poisonous red belly tree frog shows off its bright tummy. The poison dart frog's bright colors warn enemies not to even try eating it. This friendly looking yellow-headed tree frog makes a nasty tasting treat for birds and snakes. Weird frogs. Frogs and toads are fascinating creatures, but some are in more interesting than others. Look at the unusual frogs on these pages. The banjo frog likes to burrow in the sand where it is protected from enemies and the hot sun. Watch out, the horn frog below has very sharp teeth and a bad temper. These tree frogs have long fingers with sticky tips that help them climb trees. The cask-headed frog has a big has big buggy eyes and a most unusual nose. No more golden toads. Frogs and toads are important. They eat harmful insects that could destroy crops or carry diseases. Unfortunately, there are fewer frogs and toads than there used to be. Some people think the reason is that houses and factories have been built where frogs and toads used to live. Other people think that water pollution has killed most of the frogs and toads. The beautiful golden toads on this page may already be extinct. Extinct means that a plant or animal no longer exists. No one has seen a golden toad in several years. Scientists are sorry that they did not have more time to learn about this fabulous toad. Words to know, amphibian. An animal that can live on land and in water. Breeding chorus. A large group of frogs or toads that gather together to mate. Camouflage. Patterns or colors that blend into the environment. Cold-blooded. Describing a body temperature that changes with the weather. Extinct. Describing plants or animals that no longer exist. Gill. An opening on the side of the body used for breathing underwater. Hibernate, a long winter sleep. Metamorphosis, 
the changes in growth of frogs from egg to adult. Predator, an animal that eats other animals. Spawn, the eggs of frogs and toads. Tympanum, a large, flat, outer eardrum. Vocal cord, the part of the throat that makes sounds. Below is the index for each topic listed. There are page numbers that reflect where you can go find um, information about those particular items. What is in the picture? Here is more information about the photographs in this book. On the cover, we have an American toad eats a worm. On the title page, Argentine horned frogs have very sharp teeth. On page four, American toads can grow to be 25 centimeters, that's about 10 inches long. On page five, these tadpoles will soon lose their tails. Page six, bullfrogs use their powerful legs to make long jumps. Page seven, this tree frog's bright color tells enemies that it is poisonous. Pages eight through nine, the Yosemite toad lives in southwestern United States. Page 10, frogs can spend a long time underwater before needing air. Page 11, top left, the pine barrens tree frog lives in the eastern United States. Page 11, bottom left, this masked tree frog lives in the rainforests of Costa Rica. Page 11 on the right, a red leaf a red-eyed leaf frog has sticky toes that help it cling to plants. Page 12, toads swallow their food whole. Page 13, big-eyed tree frogs hunt for food at night. Page 14 on the left, this picture shows bullfrogs in a breeding chorus. Page 14 on the right, this clump of eggs was laid by a female wood frog. Page 15 on the top, a bullfrog can live to be two years old. Page 15, bottom left, most bullfrog tadpoles are eaten by fish and birds. Page 15, bottom right, a tadpole's back legs grow before its front legs do. Page 16, the African brown tree frog has a voice sack almost as big as its body. Page 17, barking tree frogs can change the co their color from brown to green. Page 18, green tree frogs live in swamps, streams, and other wetland areas. Page 19 on the top, this picture shows the eye of, an, of a leopard frog. Page 19 on the bottom, American toads are most active at night. Pages 20 through 21, and then on page 22, Male green frogs fight one another during, during breeding season. Page 23, the western chorus frog's dark color helps it hide in swamps. Page 24, Argentine horn frogs often eat other frogs. Page 25, this picture shows a hermatite toad hiding among dead leaves. Page 26, some native people dip their arrows in the poison of the poisonous dart frog for hunting. Page 27, top left, the tiny red-bellied tree frog can cling to a thin leaf. Page 27, top right, poison dart frogs come in a variety of bright colors. Page 27 on the bottom, this picture shows a yellow-headed tree frog. Page 28 on the top, the banjo frog was named after its call, which sounds like a banjo. Page 28 on the bottom, the Amazonian horned frog can reach 20 centimeters. It's about like eight inches in length. Page 29 on the top, tree frogs can be found on every continent except Antarctica. Page 29 on the bottom, the cask-headed frog lives in hot, dry places. Page 30, golden toads were last spotted in the wild in 1989.